Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, this film review is about the Terminator. Now, the Terminator was made in 1984. However, it is a bit of a random one because it's set in... It was made in 1984. However, it is set in present day. But then it keeps jumping to the future, which is 2029. So it's a bit of a random sort of time switching, shifting... Uh, sort of film. Arnold Schwarzenegger stars in the film, so does Linda Hamilton and Michael Beer. Sarah Connor is the mother of John Connor. John Connor is the man who leads the resistance in the year of 2029. In this film we don't see him at all because it was before John Connor was kind of conceived. This film is the first in the franchise that um, tries to kill John Connor. They do it before he was born and it shows how Arnold Schwarzenegger travelled back from the future to the present time back in 1984 to kill off Sarah Connor. He does this by tracking down every single person with the name Sarah Connor. This is because they couldn't program the Terminator to have a visual concept of what she looks like. So that was Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back in time. This is where we then shortly after meet Kyle Reese. Now Kyle Reese is John Connor's best friend in the future in 2029. He is sent back from the future to the present day of 1984 Los Angeles to protect Sarah Connor. He has got to uh, try and track her down. All they know is that, uh, what her name is and where she's in, uh, in the world, which is Los Angeles. It's pretty much a uh, suicide mission. Once you get sent from the future to the present day, you cannot come back. That's it, you're done. Kyle Reese is in love with uh, Sarah Connor. Gets a bit awkward because his best mate is actually his dad. Spoiler alert. Arnold Schwarzenegger in the film says about 18 lines of uh, dialect. He doesn't say much at all, and when he does, it's kind of a bit overpowering. It's a bit like yeah. he takes uh, the starring role, really. The film was made on a budget of $6.4 million back in 1984, so I guess that was a lot of money. However, it did accumulate to at least $78 million. Hence why they made a fair bit on uh, the franchise. If you want to know where the origins of Terminator came from, then I do really recommend the Terminator film to begin with. It's not the greatest. It's good. There is explosions and gunfights and chase downs. But it does start the original of uh, how the Terminator came to be a franchise. How Arnold Schwarzenegger became a household name. If you can get your head around the whole uh, time travel concept and to and from the future then uh, you would love it. Cannot recommend the Terminator enough. The special effects aren't very good uh, as a lot of it is models, green screens and really bad animatronics. Looking at today's standards of uh, stuff then uh, you can tell that it's really really bad but back in 1984 this was cutting edge the top notch sort of stuff. So if you want to see a film about a guy who did Titanic and Avatar and uh, where Arnold Schwarzenegger came from, then I do really recommend The Terminator. So guys, thanks for watching my review of uh, The Terminator starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton and Michael Beer. If you want to watch a time travelling robot come and kill a mother, then uh, this film is really for you. Also guys, links down below as per usual, we the devoted, go check them out. New fitness items are in stock right now, so go check them out. Use TobyWTD gets you twenty percent off any weather invited items that you decide to buy. Links down below as per usual. However, if you want to watch a time traveling robot, then uh, I really recommend the Terminator.